love Nemesis, one of my favourite rides ever. We're excited for it, but nowhere near as excited as a couple of people who are joining us now. Nikki Lees, who runs the YouTube channel Lush Velvet Coasters. Nikki, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Sean Evans from Kids Grove, who is so excited he has come in to see us. Sean, how are you, mate? I'm not too bad, mate. I've never heard you go that high pitched uh, like <laughs> any time we've spoken before. <laughs> and, and you're a Vale fan who's heard me do all kinds I of know. commentary I over know. the years <laughs> as well. Um, very, very exciting times. Just when you heard this news, just um, how buzzing were you to hear the opening date? Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's the fact that all this hard work is now coming to fruition and finally fans and the general public get to ride this thing the beast has reborn the beast has <laughs> reawakened you know uh, i just can't wait to get there march the 16th what makes it so special for you it's the nostalgia for me like i'm i'm old school alton towers i'm going through you know corkscrew was like one of my first ever roller coasters and that was on a school trip and i was like scarred for life after that day i was like i'd never been on a big like intense roller coaster before and then obviously right next door in the same park is nemesis so both of those coasters combined together kind of uh, reignited my passion for for roller coasters and the rest is history i'm, I'm just trying to think because we spoke to a few people about nemesis over the last couple of years with all the revamp stuff do you put it number one on on your coaster list not in the world no Ooh, okay but for nostalgia and for the, the fact that it was like one of my first then yes in the uk yes but in the world probably not do you agree with that nikki where are you placing old nemesis before we come on to nemesis reborn for me, it's number one. I think th there's other coasters where I've thought, oh, that's a number one coaster. But then I go back and think Nemesis is so special to me. I just, I couldn't, I can't bring myself to knock it off that top spot, now, no matter what. <laughs> Sean, it means a lot to him because he's from the area, he's from Kidsgrove. Just tell us where you're based, Nikki. So I'm sort of Manchester, okay. so I'm not too far away. How many journeys would you say you've made to Alton Towers to ride this thing over the years? Well, I first rode it in 2019. Oh, okay. Oh, very recently. Real, yeah, so I really I built up to it for a long time, and I went sort of once a year for a few years. And once I rode Nemesis, I probably go about once a month now. So, <laughs> yeah, quite. I've ridden it 70 times, so at least, yeah. I don't know. Are you going to sit there, Sean, and put a two in front of that 70? I don't want to comment any further, Lee. Uh, it's quite, I, I mean, uh, once a month, uh, uh, yeah, I, I went so many. I think I was going once a week when Nemesis was opening, sometimes three, four times a week, and I did that challenge when I came on the show last yes. time. Did it 64 times in one day. So, yeah, I've, I've definitely got more laps, but I, I, the love is there all around from the general public and to enthusiasts such as ourselves. How excited, Nikki, is the roller coaster community, which is absolutely massive, by the way about this reopening not just here but all across the country oh incredibly i think the, the way that alton towers have marketed this and sort of built up hype over the last few months they've kept it as a topic of conversation constantly um and when the news dropped yesterday my twitter feed just blew up everyone was reposting everyone was talking about it talking about how excited they are and everyone was kind of relieved as well because a lot of us have booked hotels on the off chance so it's like a sigh of relief now. We all know we'll be going there on March 16th. As excited as you are, Sean, right, when people change things, mm -hmm. there's quite often a danger of them never being as good as the original. Yeah. Are you a slight bit nervous for it at the same time? Yeah. Uh I'm a big fan of I don't like change, I'm very much a creature of habit, but the fact that they've not only changed the aesthetic of the ride, but they're kind of improving it, they're adding stuff, there's like they've lifted a helicopter into one of the, they've adding theme into the queue line, and they're expanding it into the actual area that Nemesis resides in, so it's not just the ride that's going to be different, it's going to be the whole surrounding area, so that's more exciting to me, it's not just the ride that we're used to, it's the same ride from start to finish, but this expansion into the area makes it a little bit more special. How much do you look for that when you, you're reviewing things for your channel etc because you, you're passive enthusiasts like me will get on it and just think is this ride good yes it's brilliant it took my breath away how much do you look into things like the music the creativity the whole theme of it i think it's more the appreciation for the hard work that goes into it to bring that final product alive it's kind of like an appreciation for all the guys who are on the construction website and the pouring wearing much like today who have probably got a crane you know on site right now doing stuff and final touches it's the appreciation for that and uh, yeah it's the full package from the ride to the area it's just that thing that brings it all together and it'll be a special occasion you're nodding along in agreement there 
there, Nikki, at everything Sean's just said. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I think a big thing that a lot of enthusiasts really love is immersion. And it's it's about how the area looks, the music, the sights, the smells, all of it really ties together. And I think Alton Towers have put a lot of attention to detail into Nemesis so far. So I think a lot of us will be happy with that. Now, when we call you roller coaster enthusiasts, we th say that because both of you have got your own really successful roller coaster channels. So that would mean this is going to be such a big deal. You will have been planning the reopening for months. Just tell us what your plans are, Sean, for reopening day. Well, I missed the last minute, Lee. So I went literally as soon as it was announced yesterday, I hopped onto the Alton Towers website. and said, like, what hotel can I stay in? That's the closest <laughs> to the actual the hotel entrance where Nemesis is. So that was kind of my last minute preparations. But, uh, you know, it's been in the, the planning for a while to wait for that date. And then obviously as soon as it's launched, then I'm straight on the Merlin website trying to book a hotel. Did, did you get one? Yeah, okay. we got one straight away. Yeah, yeah, so we're part of it. If you've got a million annual pass, you get like a little discount. So thankfully, I got a little discount on hotel prices at Alton Towers. When you say we, is this a bit a big? Yeah, group there's, of there's a few. Yeah, there's going to be a few people there. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm betraying Alton Towers somewhat because in the afternoon I'm going off to Blackpool Pleasure Beach to do a behind the scenes tour. So I'm like mixing two things up in the same day, no. and I'm gutted because they've started to open the park at night time now for three dates in March. So, the, so Nemesis at night time. That'll be the first time at night where all the lighting package and all that stuff's coming out. So I'm actually missing that. So I'm gutted, but I will be back. Come on, I live there, Lee. I'll, I'll be back. I'll see you. I mean, how many roller coaster experiences can you pack into <laughs> yeah, one day? Exactly. 16th of March is marked with a massive star on Sean's calendar. <laughs> what about you, Nikki? What are your plans for it? So I booked my hotel back in November on the <laughs> off chance that it opened. Um, I put the cancellation protection to good use. <laughs> but yeah, we booked it way back when, just in case. I, I literally could not imagine not being there the night before when there's all the buzz around the resort and being the first thing on opening day. When you say you booked it months ago, did you drop on the right date as well? Yeah, we, we, we looked on the calendar and it said the park should open on the 16th. So we were like, well, I'm sure Nemesis will probably open then as well. So yeah, <laughs> March 16th, way back when. That's amazing. And just listening to Nikki there, Sean, describe what it's like the night before the yeah. opening of a new ride. You're a big Vale fan. Is that kind of like going to Wembley for a playoff final on the Friday rather than on the day? <laughs> Those were the good times, Lee. Those were the good times. <laughs> it's safe to say times have changed a lot since Wembley, but uh, we'll comment no more on the situation at Port Vale Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the fact that Sean is spending his Saturday afternoon going to two theme parks in one day rather than Vale Park probably sums up the state of football at the moment. But fingers crossed things turn. Nikki, enjoy it. We'll speak to you after to find out what it was like. Thank you. See ya. And Sean, thank you for coming in and dodging the rain spots this morning. Cheers, Lee. Nice well. one. Now, the ride starts there and goes up in that direction, right up to the treetops, turns, comes down here, does an upside-down corkscrew under the monorail there, back down through that hole, 